What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we're going to talk about the Demonic Origins event and we're going to break down all the information that you need to know in order to complete this event in case you want to complete this event. A lot of people are really overvaluing this event because there is Crimson Gear in the rewards and uh, I'm going to tell you my opinion if you should focus on this event or not. In my opinion, this is a major bait for your energy and uh, we already have the recent data mines that you're going to require your energy for something else. So at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide what you prioritize. And if you want to focus on this event, I'm going to tell you the information and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do for myself and why I'm going to skip this event. So. As always, if you like information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Mouse Life Force content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so Demonic Origin Gear. This event uh, is the, the first we event that we have that allows you to obtain Crimson Gear. And it also has Alien Spores, Diamonds, and uh, Catalysts. So overall, we have... Uh, Crimson gear, okay, that's fine. But we are also getting crimson gear from the raids. A lot of people are doing right now the incursion raids on difficulty 2 or the second difficulty raids. And uh, that also rewards you with crimson gear. And most of the items you get, crimson gear raid orb, gives you the same gear that you are getting from this event. So. I'm not, I'm not sure like it's going to increase the amount of gear you get but it's not like a huge amount it's not going to make a huge difference the orbs that really matter is the armory 19 orbs and that is the uniques and the mini uniques but once again you are better off refreshing the the gold store for these than anything else you are way better off refreshing these than anything else on top of that, uh, you, you also have, uh, you can decide for yourself which one you're going to buy, which items are you going to prioritize, and you actually spend less cores. So unless you have literally no gold, and you rather spend uh, money on, on completing the event rather than uh, buying the gold, or I don't know, then uh, the event just doesn't make sense. Like the event for most people, it's not going to make sense. Now, if you're a major whale, then uh, it's a different story. You might see a little bit of value here, but really take a look on how many items you are getting. Like you might get enough to equip one item on Super Scroll or something like that, which once again, for a while, maybe that's fine, but for normal people, it doesn't make sense. Now, beyond the Crimson Gear, we also have some shards for uh, Void Knight, for Gwenham, and uh, also Isolate Blue Level 5. All these things still have a lot of value. We also have the monthly item for uh, from this event. We have a ton of Bio Gear as well, and a lot of people are still getting up their... Uh, their symbiotes and now we also have the leader showing up in the game soon and is also going to be bio so make sure you have enough gear for your leader and make sure you also farm gamma radiation because that's the unique he uses now in order for you to complete this crimson event you're gonna spend campaign energy and battle in cosmic crucible so you don't have to win you just have to do the six matches and that's going to allow you to get 9,000 points each day and a total of 27,000 points, pretty easy. Beyond that, unlimited, you can get points by spending energy on the campaign nodes and also free climbs on the web store. There are also other sources of points, which is the web milestone event, which we'll take a look in a second. And we also have this other event, Legacy of Strike, which has a total of uh, four anniversary orb fragments, and these also count for the event. So it's going to be 8,000 additional points that you get. For this event, for you to complete this event, you have to participate in Raids, War, Cosmic Crucible, Arena, and Blitz with uh, Marvel Strike Force original characters. So this is going to be Castle, Val, Deadpool, and uh, Spider Weaver. So it's going to be somewhat easy to complete. We have six days to complete, while the other event lasts seven days. So make sure you pay attention to that. Now, in terms of uh, the campaign energy that you can also spend for this event, it's this one right here, six time to strike. So spending this event, uh, spending energy on this campaign 
will allow you to get points for the other one. So, and then you get anniversary orbs, and then he goes to the other one. Oh, it's uh, convoluted on convoluted and convoluted, or events inside of events inside of events. But yeah, it's not super difficult, it's just a little bit uh, difficult. So beyond that, as I was saying, we're going to get points on the web story. And the points on the web store, you have a total of uh, 12,000, if I remember correctly. And uh, all you need to do for this one is just obtain Alliance War, uh, Alliance Credits. It's not War Credits, it's just Alliance Credits. And you obtain these ones by doing your daily donations for your Alliance. So you go right here, Alliance Donations, you do donate the, the 50 power cores if you want to complete this early. And that's pretty much it. Because we have seven days in order to complete this event and you need a total of uh, 3,000, you actually don't have to spend power cores every day. You just have to spend power cores like five days or so, and that should be enough. Just make sure that on the last day, you collect the credits before the event ends. So it will count like you had one additional day. So it's seven days, but you can count it as eight. Now, when you go back to the web store and we can take a look at the offers and see which are the best offers for you to complete this event. If you decide that this event is worth it, is it worth it? I'm not sure about it, but uh, yeah, the event is here. And uh, if you think the Crimson Gear is going to allow you to get your Super Scroll to Gear T19 early. Well, then uh, I think the best offers is going to be this one for $25 because you're going to get around uh, 30,000 and four times. So this is going to be almost 120,000 points, while on the other ones you get much less than that. So for the same price, this one gives you 120,000 points. This one gives you 87,000 points. It's not even near. It's not even near the difference in points. So if you want to complete this event, if you are a whale, if you are a kraken, this is definitely the one you want to, to get your hands on to in order to complete. Now, let's take a look at the math of this event. It's super simple. There is nothing that uh, is really complex about it. So the money engines, seven days and uh, you can get 27,000 points from Battle in Cosmic Crucible. Earn anniversary or fragments. This is going to be fragments with energy. So you spend around 1,100 energy, and this is what I'm going to do for myself just to get to milestone 16, because it's the one that I think matters. Then we have the free claims, we have 500, and that's going to be a total of 3,500. There is the special bonus offer, which will give you additional 4,000 per day. So you might think that this is worth it. It's up to you to decide if it's going to be worth it or not. The value is not the worst. It's pretty similar to that one offer that we saw. It just doesn't have uh, the gold. So in my opinion, the gold and the red stars are better than the extra offer that you can get. So definitely pay attention to that. Then fragments from the Legacy Strike, we have a total of 8,000. And uh, the Infernal Prelude, this is the web milestone, 12,000 points. So this is going to add up to a total of 73,000 points. Pretty easy. And uh, this is going to put you very, very close of completing the milestone then 16, yeah, 16. So milestone 15 is very good because you're going to get Gwenham shards. And uh, the Gwenham event was a little bit shafted, so not everyone has Gwenham, Gwenham at uh, high stars. And uh, you should try it at least as fast as possible to get Gwenham to six yellow stars, six red stars. And the same goes for Red Goblin. The event for Void Knight was a little bit better, so and we already had the Battle Pass and a few other events that gave shards for him, so not the worst. And of course, the Milestone 16 is very important because you have the Isolate Blue Level 5, which we still don't have a lot of sources to get this Isolate Blue Level 5. And we also have that extra bio gear that we need for the leader. So overall, in my opinion, this is really where you should be focusing on. So once again, you don't need to spend more than 200 power cores per day on energy. And if you have energy stocked up, and this is the, the trap that I really feel, uh, that I really think the people I talk with on my live streams, they were saying, oh no, I'm going to try to get this Crimson gear as fast as possible. I think that's going to be a huge mistake because once again, we are getting getting all this gear, this type of gear, we are getting it already from uh, the, the raids. So rushing for this 
I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth it and maybe you can collect this gear for one event but if you are not a whale if you are not a kraken then you'll have this gear on your hand but you will not have the gear for the other characters as well and just having one character at gear 19 is not gonna make a huge difference so I'm gonna skip this I'm gonna be focusing just on milestone 16 and that's it and in terms of the energy that we have right now if you have any energy stocked up we have data mines of a event for black hat diamonds and uh, what's better is the black hat diamonds is the crimson gear in my opinion the black hat diamonds are going to be more important if you have energy stocked up already and this is because the dark diamonds are much harder to come around every two months or every three months with the Cosmic Crucible Season Rewards, depending on where you rank, you get some of those diamonds, you have all the horsemen to get up, you have all the mythical characters to get up, and we also have the, this new wave of legendary characters to get up as well. And uh, once again, in my opinion, it's going to be a priority to get those dark diamonds on your hands, rather than the Crimson Gear, because once again, Crimson Gear, you can get it every day in the Gold Store and every day in the Raids. While uh, the Dark Diamonds, you can get very rarely, once or twice, three, three or four times a year from, uh, from Cosmic Crucible. So, I'm not sure. At least in my opinion, from my perspective, the Dark Diamonds are much harder to get the hands on. But uh, that's my thoughts. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure to share this video with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Mouse Force content. And I'll catch you guys later.